These are the voyages of Treasured Times, her continuing mission to explore the oceans of South Florida and the Caribbean, to seek out unknown islands and forgotten places, to give an unforgettable adventure to everyone who is welcomed aboard. Welcome aboard Treasured Times. Captain's Log, May 27th, 2021. My friend Michelle is in town. The weather is perfect, so we invited Rebecca for a girl's day out on the water. Got her started. I got fried chicken! Fried chicken! Yay! Girls <laughs> <laughs> day! Girls day! Yeah. Great till they gotta be great. Don't text me and tell it straight to my face. Best friend set me down in the salon chair. Shampoo press get you out of my hair. Fresh photos with the bomb lighting. No man on the thing for you. You and Mike. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't you make me. <laughs> Our destination is a shallow reef just off the southeastern edge of Boot Key. Got it, girl. Get it. Get it. Yeah, go. Ready? Woo! <laughs> Queen conchs are a protected species here in Florida. It's nice to see so many of them alive here. I'm glad the weather has finally decided to cooperate for the next few days, and we plan on taking advantage of every minute of it. Where are we going, Adrian? We are going to Delta Shoal. No, yes, Delta Shoal. <laughs> Oh my 
my god, it's like three quarters. Now, three quarters. We came across a pod of dolphins on our way out to the reef. No? They didn't follow us? Aww. Sometimes they will. You're probably wondering by now, where's Mike? Mike is joining Kayvon with Florida Keys Vacation Getaway to film a two-day fishing trip to the Dry Tortugas. I'm Kayvon and this is Fishing in the Dry Tortugas. The fish were large and plentiful. We'll have more on this later. One of the attractions in the Dry Tortugas is Fort Jefferson. Kayvon and Mike found a park ranger to give them some history of the fort. They burn our capital down to the ground in the War of 1812. They said, you know what, we're, we're a young nation, we don't have a navy to rival these European forces, what are we going to do? Well, Fort McHenry never fell, that flag was still flying, Star Spangled Banner was written, so we'll build a strong coastal defense system. That's when we were one nation back in the 1840s. And so, they started building it in 1846, and you can see all the bricks, the majority of which came from Pensacola, Florida, and then all of a sudden it became this divide, north and south, and this was a union fort because the, well, it was a U.S. fort and there was no union and, and confederacy and then uh, Florida ceded from the uh, union in January 1861 and uh, they cut them off, huh? Cut them off. This place is also home to thousands of seabirds that came here to nest. And they don't stop flying or making noise, not even after dark. There's no doubt this will be a destination for treasured times, and very soon. All right, today's question of the day is, how many pulls is it gonna take? <laughs> 
let's see, you ready? So I pumped it up, I pulled the thing out. All right, here we go. Oh, oh my oh. gosh, first pull. It's a good day, it's a really good day. Mike will be returning later this evening, so Michelle and I are taking advantage of the calm weather to spend her last day here at one of my favorite places, Delta Shoal Barge. Today's adventure out on the whaler today, and we are going to a shipwreck. Oh my gosh, the fish, the schools of fish, know, wow. That crazy? That's, Adrian, this is insane. I know. Those aren't piranhas, are they? No. <laughs> they're, they're probably Bermuda chubs. They call them Bermuda chubs. They're so cute. Aren't they cute? Aren't they adorable? You know, Mike's going to make fun of me because I like my feeding frenzies with the fish. Yeah. I love the striped ones. They're so pretty. this should be pretty cool right now. Yeah. I can see all of it's going down right here. Wow. We had a bit of air left once we finished at Delta Shoal Barge, so we're going to head out to a deeper reef and try to find a grouper. And who knows, maybe we'll find some lionfish while we're at it. Yeah, let's just go out like slow out there and see what's out there. I'll take the spear gun.
Look at this one. <laughs> what did you catch today, Adrian? Lionfish. Just be careful if you go back there. <laughs> I saw a huge grouper, but he was just moving too fast. What's that behind you? Look at that guy. He's cute. They're a uh, file fish. They're super cute. Back from our adventure today in Adrian's catch of the day is one and two lionfish. She oh is saving gosh. the Look world. Look how big this one is. He is huge. Saving the world one lionfish at a time. How big is this one? I gotta measure him. This might be a record for me. Okay, zero. He is 14 inches. No, I think I've gotten a 15 inch one before. Somebody has gotten a 17 inch one. That would be a huge lionfish, wouldn't it? But this one is pretty big. He's pretty big. Lion, lionfish. First, it's a good idea to cut their spiny fins off because you don't want to get stabbed. Because these are the spines that'll get you. Don't want to get stabbed by those, that's for sure. So I cut them off. After I speared this one, I was just carrying him around for a while because I still wanted to try to find a grouper. And then I saw this one. <laughs> but this one was not quite dead yet. So I had to poke him, poke him in the brain a couple times with the spear. And then I let him off. And after I got that one, I tried, I couldn't find this one. And I was looking all around, looking, looking, looking. And then I looked up and it was floating to the top. <laughs> Michelle and I had a great time these last few days, but she's returning home tomorrow. The forecast says the nice weather will hold through Memorial Day. Looks like Mike and I will be making an overnight trip somewhere if that's the case.